What's going on everyone? Sean from All Things EV here. And man, we've got some breaking news with the Cybertruck. This comes compliments of the Cyber Sleuth Gregor truck on Twitter. Greg, big props to you for breaking this. This is the official Cybertruck VIN decoder, and it gives us a lot of juicy details about the gross vehicle weight rating of the truck, as well as the motor variants. So we can see mentioned here is also the Tesla semi truck. It is going to be a class eight truck, which is greater than 33,001 pounds or for the rest of the world, 14,968 kilograms. But the cyber truck is going to have two different classes, the class G and H. The class G is going to be 8,001 pounds to 9,000 and the class H 9,001 to 10,000 pounds. Also, which will probably give us some guidance as far as how much each variant weighs, you see here that they indicate a dual motor standard designed for the Cybertruck as well as a triple motor, or tri-motor performance. So I think based on these two pieces of information, the gross vehicle weight rating as well as the drive units, the tri-motor performance is going to come in in that class H range. The dual motor standard is going to come in at that class G range. Now, it's important to note that the gross vehicle weight rating is everything included, not just the weight of the vehicle, but also the people inside it, as well as the payload. Now, when Tesla did their launch event four years ago, they stated that the payload was going to be 3,500 pounds. And if you're curious about how that stacks up against other electric vehicle trucks, well, Gregor Truck has it covered as well. Props to him for putting this up so quickly. The F-150 Lightning comes in at 8,250 to 8,550 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. The R1T, 8,532 pounds. And the Hummer EV, 10,550 pounds. So if we subtract the 3,500 in payload, we're gonna get somewhere between five and 6,000 pounds for the actual truck, which to me is interesting because I think that comes in at around where the Model X weighs. And with the delivery event coming up November 30th, I suspect based on previous delivery events that they're going to deliver the most expensive, highest price variants first because they have the highest margin and it's expensive. They're gonna be producing this in, in low volume at first and then continue to ramp up. And so they'll need those better margins to be able to justify the cost or at least pad, pad the expense that it's going to take to get this production or production lines up and running. This is really cool news. I love that we're starting to figure out and learn more about the details of the truck coming up to the delivery event. What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. I'm super pumped about this. This truck isn't my taste per se, even though I have a reservation. I am excited though, because it's such a different truck and it's made incredibly different. So I'm following along to see how the public reacts to this spaceship looking vehicle. Sean from All Things EV here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.